Hello guys, welcome to today's video tutorial by Trust Stanley at Test Tech Talk. Today guys, I want to show you guys how to use the Facebook, um, the Bitmoji on your Facebook or any other social media that you're making use of. So on the previous video, I talked, I showed you guys how to create the Facebook Bitmoji and all this stuff. I won't be talking about that now. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how to make use of the Facebook Bitmoji and actually getting to use that as our profile image and also we can also make use of it as um as a post and also all this kind of stuff like right here on this post actually this is facebook bitmoji this is bitmoji this is bitmoji this is facebook um avatar so um is a bit different though this is avatar um, bitmoji this is facebook avatar so i'm going to be showing you guys how to create and do all these stuff um using your bitmoji so first of all open the bitmoji i don't know if you guys have downloaded this application if you haven't i'm going to link the link below and also you cannot just search it on your play store search for bitmoji and download it so um once you have it open probably um if you want to make use of anyone, just go ahead and click on any of the emoji and then wait for it to come up. It's going to display different options for you. You can see you can send this to somebody's messenger. You can send this to WhatsApp. You can send this to handout and you can scroll and still select more of the applications which you have. And you can still go right ahead and save this um, app so that you can reuse it on any other social media. So I'm just going to click on this um hangout first and i can just log in with any account that i want and send this to anybody that i want and you can see it's going to display just the same way after sending so i can click on the same thing and hold and click on whatsapp and then send it to anybody that i want so it's not really difficult to do it's pretty easy while using it but guys this is the chart and this is where i have it and also, if I want to make use of the Bitmoji right here, click on the icon. It's a bit different, actually. It displays a different way. Um, you can notice when I try to use any one of them right from the chart, it displays in a different way, guys, you can see. And you can easily um, type something and say, when you type something it gives you option to select the bitmoji and you can just click on any of them and when you choose it this way it actually removes the transparency background you can notice the difference between this one and this one this one actually doesn't have a background the one below and this one has a background and they can actually be the same thing but just because um they are not having the same background means um they are not the same thing they are exactly the same thing just in a different way so guys it's not really difficult on how to do just type anything and can say um let me say sub so whatever you type if it has that option it's going to display if it doesn't have it um it won't display let me say morning so now you can see this is morning and all other things relating to that. So once you click on that, it's going to actually select it and it will be uploaded. And this is just very easy. It's still the same thing for any social media, apart from clicking and allow it to select to any social media. Let me probably say I clicked on this one and then choose a messenger. Let me send this to a friend of mine. I'm sending this to this guy. So this is going to be sent to the person and let me go ahead and check my messenger to see how that worked. Now you can see that it's been sent and then I can type something else just like I did before and it displays option just as it did on on the whatsapp section so for any messenger and any application you can use the bitmoji and this is just how to send bitmoji and then apart from clicking from there you can still click here you can see click this option to select more bitmoji and there are several of them you can scroll down and see so many of them depending on what option you use you want to use you can select this option 
select this to select a celebration bitmoji or you select this to select a um, happy bitmoji or happy mood bitmoji you can select this one for love bitmoji depending on whichever one you want to make use of just click and swipe on each of them to make use of them and guys you can notice that this option i selected is just displaying on my keyboard right if you are not using the bitmoji keyboard is not going to be displaying this option just like this let me show you guys what i mean by that so once you select this option and you can notice this keyboard section click on your keyboard section and make sure that keyboard is checked this way if the keyboard is not checked this way that means it's not going to be um displaying the way it did just make sure you have it this um enabled so that it will be displaying you can notice that i have an option to disable it but i don't want to disable it because i'm making use of the option but if you guys have your own showing enable go ahead and click on enable and enable it and if you don't know how to enable it i'm going to leave the description below to watch the video on my pre to watch my previous video on how to create a, a bitmoji and also how to enable it it's very easy not difficult so you guys should go on the previous video to watch how to do that so let me continue and showing you guys more things that it can do so and also right now on our facebook application i'm going to change this uh um, profile image to our uh, bitmoji so let me go to bitmoji right now and look for any image or any avatar sticker that i want to use you can click on the avatar to see different options to just change your style but if you don't want to change your style just come over to any avatar that you want to make use of and and choose any and if you notice on this section this is the previous one that i've selected so far good night hi love you lol and different options there are several options to choose you can say you can click on this option that says mad to click on mad and then choose anyone you want to choose so i'm going to use this one and i'm going to wait for it to load options swipe so this is it set profile as um set as profile picture for facebook click on that now you can see i can easily set my profile picture you can easily crop it if you want to reduce this or increase it if you want to increase it you can just make it whichever way you want but i think this is default a default is okay so let's just use this and then click on done so once you are okay you can just publish this to display but I actually want to make this temporal so I'm going to leave this to display for a day and then go ahead and save it up so um, it might take a while to update depending on how fast your internet is you can notice it's been uploaded I think it's complete now so now it's displaying so it's going to display for a day so this is just how to use um, profile picture for bitmoji and if you guys want to make use of this on your um, status on Facebook on on WhatsApp I mean you can just tap on it swipe to WhatsApp select WhatsApp and click on status and then send it so you can notice it displays on your WhatsApp so you can just leave the um, a caption and say I'm mad so you can click on the status to confirm if it's there you can notice it's been uploaded and once it completes uploaded it's going to display that it has uploaded completely for you which it's fine and then let's go back to the bitmoji so pretty much like any social media you use you can just tap on it and it will display different uh, options for you you can say you want to put this on your story and just select your story and then click and send it to your story it's going to display on your story also and then you can still click and hold to see any option you want to use then if you want to save it on your device just swipe down and then click on save allow and then you see it's saved to bitmoji library you can just go to your gallery images to confirm if it's actually saved to your gallery and just select the bitmoji you can see the image is saved so you can go ahead and reuse this anywhere you want to which also is also very fine so guys there are, there is more thing i want to show you guys before we round out this um, image if you want to edit your avatar you can just click on the avatar section and then you can easily um go ahead and change the hairstyle and change whichever you want to make it off so once you're done changing it just click on save but i don't want to do that because it actually look ugly so let me go ahead and exit without saving 
so my default emoji still remains so if you guys actually saved it it's going to update and display different emoji and then another thing instead of changing your emoji probably you are uh, you already have this look and you probably change a hairstyle or you don't want to make use of your glasses you can notice this um setting icon right on top of this section just after the search area click on that if you click on it it's going to display different options for you you can notice where it says change avatar style you can click on it now i have a different avatar avatar style this one is my deluxe which is actually the default one which i created first and then there is another option to also create an avatar which we can also make use of and then there is this other avatar that has a classic avatar it has a wide face you can also change that to make use of um any different avatar and i've actually customized this so you can just go ahead and click on use once you select that it's going to display the avatar style for you you can notice this one is a bit plumpy and looking different so um this guy is a fat version of somebody not me that it's also be able to reuse on your facebook avatar so you can select each and every one you want to use and then recreate on anyone you want to use so if you guys have a different style of a avatar you can easily select anyone you want to use at will let me show you guys how to do that by selecting this uh, third option that i haven't edited yet so what it does is once you click on that it gives you an option to select it but because i don't want to uh, choose it for tutorial base i just ignored editing it and automatically it gave us the person's face and features on default now you can see how this person is looking we can always go back to edit this feature if we want to so for instance if we are okay with this hairstyle and stuff we can just um come over to the color let me go back to color and then just change the color to a dark color as in the skin tone i mean change the eye and change whichever feature you want but if you are okay just leave it um the way it is but i think the only thing i really want to change is the outfit i really don't want it to be looking like um a weird guy and then i think i'm okay with this since i already have some other styles so i can just change this one to um this other person so i think this is fair enough and the shoe style we can have to change the shoe style to um a different kind of shoe style I don't think I'm okay with this let's just choose a shoe and then once you're done just go ahead and save and you can notice it updates for us wait for it now you can notice it updates and you can see it has every features like every other one and if you if you guys want to change the style you can just come over to style and click on any style you want to use and then change whichever style you want to use you can also go back to the default one and select the default one whichever style you want to use is pretty easy and and very quick to use so guys this is um roundup of this tutorial i think uh, after this i'm sure you'll be able to make use of these um features and pretty easy to use and i think you guys will enjoy making use of it and you can notice my story is updated and everything is good to go so guys it's really not difficult to do and if you're having any um challenges making use of this please let me know and you can also leave a comment below and asking your question whichever challenge you are facing um hopefully i'll be able to fix it if it's something i know if not i'm going to look i'm going to do some more research about it and find a way to help you fix it Guys, if you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and see you guys on my next video. Peace.